So if you've been following along on my blog, you've noticed at the top there's been a pleasant filled kitchen window there for a while. And if you think it's a long time, it's been even longer for us. We actually tore out a wall in this kitchen uh, two years ago to make one big space between our gala kitchen and our dining room. And uh, once we took that wall down, we literally stood there for 11 months saying, now what? So we're here, we're done. I'm ready to show you my kitchen. Um, but first I want to share with you uh, the appliances I went with because the appliances um, from Frigidaire Professional that I ended up choosing were actually non-negotiable. Uh, one appliance in particular, uh, we actually built a kitchen around that. So I'm excited to share that with you. So let's get going. Um, the first decision I had to make was uh, concerning my cooktop and I knew that I wanted it to be in my island and not part of a standalone unit. So that was fairly easy. Uh, the next part though was, was I going to go with electric, uh, induction, or gas? Now gas is my clear favorite, but I was leaning towards induction a little bit uh, until I realized that you needed to have uh, special pots for that. So I stuck with gas, uh, this is what I know, and I love cooking with it. And this model in particular is 5 burner, which uh, I love because, uh, you know, especially when we have a lot of company in and entertaining them, which uh, we do a lot. So it's... Uh, that was a plus. And so the other thing I really love about this though is the grating system. Uh, I've had gas stoves before and each burner has its own grate. Um, that's alright of course, but this just makes it so much easier to clean. You just take off, voila, it's three grates, clean it, put it back on. And the other thing that I really love is a little bit of a safety feature because um, I often have a hot pot full of grease or uh, water that I need to move and instead of having to lift it like I would on the old grading system I can just slide it across uh, going either way and I don't have to worry about it bumping into things and spilling on me so um, that is uh, truly one of the, the best features of this stove top. Next is the dishwasher which most would say no big deal until you've lived without a dishwasher for eight months so I would have to say this is probably my favorite appliance right now uh, when we were in the process of uh, doing our kitchen, our old dishwasher died and so we went a long time without one and when you've washed dishes for a while you really appreciate a good dishwasher. Um, our old one was starting to get very loud and, uh, and so what I like about this one is, listen, that's it. That's as loud as it gets. So when you have a party or guests, you just turn your dishwasher on and run it and nobody hears it and you go to bed and turn it on um, because you know you have to save power uh, and can't turn your dishwasher on during the day. So if you're like us, you turn it on at night when you go to bed and it doesn't wake you up with dishes clanging around or this loud banging noise like some dishwashers make. So next uh, was the oven and for me, uh, two ovens was an absolute must. Um, Really, once you've had two ovens in your kitchen, you really can't live without. Uh, again, for when we have large crowds in, uh, it can't be beat. But also, just even weekly cooking, uh, when you know you need your oven at different temperatures for different things, um, it's just perfect. And I went with electric on this, not gas, um, because I think it's the reverse, where I prefer gas on my uh, cooktop, I prefer electric in the oven because I find that it cooks much more evenly. And what I love about this is the convection. It's, beautiful. Uh, my old oven would cook too hot. I was always trying to guess the temperature of it. And if this says 350, it is 350 bang on. It cooks evenly and it's beautiful. And you'll notice again at the front of this is all the smudge proof. Uh, and my kids tend to be smudgy. So uh, I love this because I'm not constantly wiping down the stainless steel of it. Uh, the top has one touch controls. So if you have chicken nuggets or pizza, you can just press the button and pop it in. Uh, so that's beautiful, and again, the self-cleaning oven works perfect. Uh, so absolutely no complaints on this. And just sort of a little peek inside. Uh, so this is the uh, double oven that we went with, and I love it. Okay, this is the piece that we actually built the kitchen around. I insisted on this. I fell in love with it uh, about a year and a half ago in a showroom and knew I would have the space for it. So. Um, we looked around and we checked out the prices and we're, we were pleasantly surprised to see this was competitively priced with a lot of the fridge freezer combinations out there. So we went with this um, and we built this wall sort of around it 
and I am absolutely in love with it. And listen. You can hear the angels sing every time it opens, can't you? At least I can. So when you look inside, uh, you can see that it's counter depth. Uh, and I love that because I no longer lose things. Uh, also, because we have the full freezer now upstairs, I was able to get rid of our chest freezer downstairs, uh, which I also used to forget things in because I would forget that I would have things down there. Uh, so that's nice. So we've eliminated that in the basement with the full freezer in the uh, kitchen. And fridge, again, counter depth. I'm not losing anything in there. And um, easy to clean, very well organized. It's just, it's a very simple unit, but really beautiful. And I love the industrial look of it. So this is sort of, um, you know, aside from the soapstone counters, the Frigidaire appliances were a must in my kitchen. And I absolutely love them. So go check out their website. And uh, hopefully you can put your dream kitchen together with Frigidaire Professional Appliances.